Rhodes School in River Grove is working hard to teach its students about going green. Today, we'll install the first urban wind turbine in the country. Nancy Lou live in River Grove with more details on that. Did you know he was 39 today? He looks great for it, huh? Happy 39th birthday. <laughs> Thank Doesn't you, look Nancy. a day over nine. <laughs> he doesn't act about nine. Act today, I don't act, about that. He acts about nine years right. old a lot of times, <laughs> I can tell you that. I'm standing at the base of a really big science project. It's being built right now as we speak. It's going to be a huge wind turbine here in River Grove. To give you some perspective, you guys, check out our Fox microwave truck and our microwave mast. That's about 40 or 50 feet. That's how we're sending you a live signal at home right now. This wind turbine is going to stand even higher. So it'll be seen for perhaps a mile away. Now the wind turbine going up today has been in the works for nearly two years. Finally made possible with $20,000 in grant money. When it's put together and hoisted up this afternoon, the turbine will become perhaps the only one at an urban school in America. Students will get to track the energy output and savings for the school, but the real goal is allowing urban kids to see green technology for themselves. It'll generate about between 400 and 500 kilowatt hours per month, which is about half what a home would use. So for the school, there'll be a difference, but it's the educational purposes that is just as important as how much it's producing so we can get the future generations to appreciate it. Hopefully when they go off and become adults, value it and, and keep continuing their movement. Now you guys know in a lot of rural areas there are complaints about wind farms and seeing a wind turbine, but so far no complaints from the neighbors and Village of River Grove truly welcome this because it's so great for the school kids. And I'm joined by Cece and Carolina from the school here. What do you think of a giant wind turbine at your school? Well, I think it's pretty exciting that we get to be the first ones to try it out. And many schools might look up to us, and they might try it out too, and it kind of helps our school look better. Okay, what do you think? And it's good that we have this because it's going to help us save energy, and it's really exciting, and we're really glad to have it well, here. We're excited for you guys. And you know what? The Rose School has really been at the forefront of this. They have solar panels on their school as well. And that generates power for the computer lab. So they're ahead of the curve here. I think that's pretty cool. It is very cool. Yes. Thank All right, you, Nancy. Nancy. Thank you. Okay, now hop and puff so we can, you know, power the turbine. Right. <laughs> I think a little more than that, I'm sure. All right, thanks, Nancy. Mark. Yeah. If you know, on a day you're